All right, so here goes nothing. On August 10th, around 9.30 p.m., my office was burglarized. So two guys in a white van pulled up in front of my office. They got through the door somehow without breaking anything and they disabled my cameras. Uh, and then they opened the garage door down below. Uh, the van then proceeded to back up inside, finally closing the gate. And then they were in there for about 30 minutes taking everything from my office, both from downstairs and upstairs. My camera equipment, computers, laptops, monitors, a bunch of PC parts and pretty much everything that had value. A very empty room, as you guys can see. The only thing they left here was the lighting, some acoustic panels. Um, on this desk, there was the Razer Core X. There was a bunch of PC parts that actually went into that build. I'm surprised they didn't take the case that left that there, but all the parts are gone. The LG Gram was on there. That's gone as well. And most of the stuff in here is gone. Actually, almost everything is gone. We had the LG 65 inch Super UHD TV over here. That's stolen, PS4 Pro, the LG Ultra Wide. We had a custom PC, MacBook Pro was on the desk there as well. And all of the lenses, camera equipment, batteries, all that stuff is over here is gone. They even took the router, the wireless router. I don't really care about most of the stuff that was taken. Uh, the only thing that was really close to me that I really cared about that they stole was my red cinema camera. Uh, that entire camera with the lens and everything cost, cost me around 30k that I had to spend out of my own pocket. But anyways, afterwards they got into the van and left. I found out about it a few hours later, I called the cops and I reported the incident and here I am one month later making a video about it. So this is the downstairs. Um, you can tell where they pulled in the van. They opened up the garage gate and they pulled in backwards. Uh, with the back facing inwards, obviously, and I just started throwing everything inside. Uh, they moved my shelf, which was all over there in the back. Um, everything on there is gone. As you can see, I had a quad stellar case on there, all the PC parts. Two, actually three full shelves of computer components, PC parts, they're all gone. Uh, 1080 Ti's, Titan XP's, all the high-end CPUs, 8-core, 10-core, all the water cooling gear for the 2-in-1 PC, all that is also gone. That was like a $15,000 PC that I was going to be building. But the only thing that left on it is some soft tubing, custom cables, and the, and the coolant. So, um, yeah, everything else is gone. Yeah, the shelf's empty too. I had some components on here. But everything in here is, is empty. It's, it's ransacked. The funny thing is, I know who did this. I'm 99.99% .99 sure who did this. But... I can't do anything about it without evidence. The detective that's on the case for almost a month now is taking her sweet time. Um, she hasn't really done anything. There's a, a traffic camera right here at the intersection next to the office where all the cars pass through and it can easily read the license plate off the van going through it and she hasn't even pulled that out yet. So I don't know what's taking her so long. That's fine. She's probably busy with other more important cases, but uh, as of now, I'm still waiting. The worst part about all this is that I had no insurance for this office building. If I did have insurance, I probably would have covered most, if not a uh, majority of the items that was stolen. Every single tenant in this office building is required to have insurance. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why they did not tell me that when I moved in. I've been here for almost seven months and no one has told me anything about having insurance. I told myself I wasn't gonna make a video on this. I hate making these drama type videos. I honestly didn't. Nobody knows about this except me and like two or three other people. Me, my, my own family doesn't even know about this. My mom probably is watching this video. She's probably freaking out and she probably called me at this point, but nobody else knows about this. I kept it all to myself. Every day that went by, it became harder and harder keeping it a secret. I felt like I was carrying this heavy weight on my shoulders. Uh, there's a lot of thing revolving around the channel that has to do with this incident and the more questions that i get asked about it the more i have to lie to my subscribers and to brands and other people so that's kind of why i'm making this video i'm making it public so i can address those questions and concerns and always refer people to come back and watch this video so they know exactly what happened i was even briefly considering opening up a gofundme to see who was willing to pitch in a few dollars to help me uh, purchase some of the equipment that was stolen but ultimately I decided not to because 
Personally, I just don't like asking for money, regardless of the type of situation I'm in. It just doesn't feel right to me. If I'm ever gonna be asking for money, it's gonna be help to help somebody else. Okay, now for some channel updates. The first one I'll talk about is the two-in-one gaming PC. Obviously, I can't do that anymore because all the parts for that build is gone. So I can't do part two anymore. I also want to address the NVIDIA gaming PC giveaway. Uh, so winner should have been selected at the end of August. Obviously, no winner has been selected yet because the PC, in fact, was stolen. That's kind of why it's taking longer than expected. I don't know if they're going to rebuild the same PC and then do a giveaway on that or if they're just, they're just going to cancel the giveaway. But if they do cancel it, uh, it is my fault. So what I'm going to do is pitch in money from my own pocket and build a similar spec PC and do a giveaway on that instead. Now, because of the recent loss, I'm going to be doing a few sponsored videos for the month of September uh, to help me recover some of the equipment that was lost. I won't be able to buy another red camera, obviously. It's just too expensive for me right now, and I can't spend that kind of money on a camera. But the sponsored videos will definitely help a lot towards recovering, uh, I would say, majority of the filming equipment that was taken from me. I'm not asking for sympathy or pity or money from you guys. The only thing I can ask for is just supporting the channel. Uh, whether it's just simply watching the videos, dropping likes, positive feedback in the comment section, or even sharing my videos, any of that would mean the world to me. I don't care about any of the stuff that was lost. They could all be replaced eventually. Uh, the most important things to me right now are my family, my health, and of course, you guys. As long as I have all that, honestly, I don't care what happens next. Okay, there's one more thing I wanna say before I end this video, and that's never let your guard down. No matter how well you know someone, no matter how safe you feel, bad things tend to happen when you least expect it. That is one thing I've learned that I've taken away from this experience and I feel like it's made me a stronger person. There will be no follow-up video to this. If the investigation concludes, the most I'll do is maybe tweet about it. But I hate putting up videos like this, but I had to for this one for obvious reasons. Um, I'm just, I'm not a fan of these type of videos. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I do have some really awesome content planned for the channel, so make sure you guys stick around. Anyways, I love your faces, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.